So I'm just making a short video to demonstrate uh, how powerful a 250 watt uh, hub motor is. I remember when I was in the market for for an electric system for my bike it was difficult to decide not having any experience with e-bikes before uh, how powerful a motor one would need. So you can see the road in front of me is uh, it's basically flat and I have a, a 250 watt front hub motor on a bullet cargo bike. Uh, I weigh about 120 kilos and my bicycle is around 20 kilos I guess. So in total there's a load of 140 kilos for this uh, motor to to pull now. So I need to pedal on my bicycle to engage the motor but I'm not going to to assist the motor at all just let it do all the all the work on the straight you can see here in front of me so let's see what kind of speed and what kind of wattage wattage the motor is going to draw so i'm just spinning the cranks now and you can see We are going at around 20 kilometers per hour with a wattage of around 250 watts. So that was it. We reached a top speed of about 20 kilometers an hour and not assisting the motor at all. It was drawing uh, or using about 200 watts uh, to make this speed. So that was how capable a 250 watt hub motor is on a flat surface. Next I will show you uh, what it can do on a moderate uphill. Okay, so here I am at the bottom of a very small uphill. I don't know if the road looks flat to you. It's almost flat, but there is a small rise. I would say from here to the top of that, there's probably a height difference of 10 meters, perhaps. So let's see what the, the motor can do. And again, I'm just spinning the cranks to engage the motor not assisting it at all I think I forgot to mention the the version motor version I have it's 250 watt but it's also a one with a, a theoretical top speed of 25 kilometers an hour mounted on a 20 inch front wheel so at about 25 kilometers an hour it's just going to run out of rpm it simply can't spin faster. So let's see how it does. So this is just the motor pulling me up now. Just spinning the cranks to keep the motor running and let's have a look at the screen. So we are up and there's a big truck behind me. Let's have that pass. And as you could see, it took me up without any problems. Speed was about 16 kilometers an hour and it was using about 500 watts of power now compared to less than 200 on the flat surface. Let's do one more uphill 
a, a tougher one and see how it does there. Okay, so the uphill starts at the crossing there behind the the brick fence and it's not super steep but you would definitely feel it and it would definitely slow you down uh, if you were biking without electric assist and of course it slows you down with electric assist as well but let's see if the, the motor is at all able to pull me up without me assisting it Okay, so we are considerably slower than we were in the two previous tests, but we are moving and it's just the motor doing the work. Ooh, I'm a bit nervous about the plastic gears there. Let's have a look at the screen. What kind of speed and what kind of what what it we are doing now. So you can see we are going about 12 kilometers an hour just on electric power. No, no muscle power here at all and it's about 550 50 watts is needed to take us up this hill. Okay, so we are basically there. It's getting easier and easier. The speed is going up. We reached the top and we were riding a bit on the flat and it took us back to 20 kilometers an hour and, and, and using about 200 watts of power. So that was a short demonstration of what a, a 250 watt nominal power 250 watt hub motor can do. And this motor was now pulling about 140 kilos of load. Thanks for watching and hope hope this could be helpful for you if you're wondering if a 250 watt motor is enough or do you perhaps need a 500 or even 1000 watt motor for your application. Have a nice ride.